So, I went to a pop-up Comic-Con and now I get to tell you about it. What's up guys, BJ Kicks here. I buy comics, I read them, and I review them. All for your viewing pleasure. So if you're new here, welcome. And if you're not, welcome back. Uh, now on this channel, I do comic book unboxings, reviews, haul videos, and everything in between. Um, and if you're interested in that, then you should hit the subscribe button. Then hit the bell icon so that you're notified whenever new videos of mine go live. So today's video is honestly short and sweet. Um, like I said in the intro, I went to a pop-up mini Comic-Con and I wanted to bring you guys some footage and show you how it went. Uh, so during last week's episode of What I'm Getting, I did a quick shout out uh, to a sponsor, Hive Comicade. And I told you guys, uh, they're a new online retailer. They specialize in independent books, specifically independent books by creators of color. Uh, so they sell titles like Harriet Tubman, Demon Slayer, um, a Nazi, the wear spider, like just a bunch of really cool things. Um, but anyway, so they threw an event, their first pop up event this past Thursday, and it was a pop up mini Comic Con during the premiere of Shang Chi uh, at Regal North Hills in Raleigh. So of course I decided to pop by. Uh, now this video again. Because there's music playing in the background and stuff, I think it's probably safer for me to just talk and show you the B-roll. But I wanted to bring you guys this footage because this was technically my first con experience. Uh, I got into comics in uh, early 2019, never went to any cons in 2019, and of course, cons have been shut down since like February 2020. Um, they're just starting to have cons again uh, here lately, but I missed out because at the time I wasn't vaccinated, so on, so on, lots of stuff. But anyway, this time around, or this event, was my first time being able to go and attend. So it's a mini con. So it, it wasn't like a huge event, and that made me feel safe. So, of course, I packed up my car, packed up my camera, and I brought my 11-year-old, and we went out to the event. Now, first of all, this event was going on from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. We didn't even leave my house until closer to six, right? And then um, we get there, I'm putting my camera rig together and I'd realize I don't have a memory card. There is no memory card in my camera. There's no memory card in my bag. So thankfully there's a Target right there, uh, literally below the movie theaters. We went to Target, grabbed a memory card and it was all good and we finally headed inside. So, uh, of course, the folks at Regal Cinemas allowed the Hive Comicade crew to set up really right in the middle of like this kind of, I don't know, waiting area, pavilion area in front of the concession stands and stuff. Really sizable. There were a few tables. Uh, of course, uh, right away, I noticed these really cool T-shirts with the Hive Comicade logo on them. Um, and so, of course, I grabbed one. Uh, very cool. I love these shirts. But anyway, I grabbed a Hive Comicade shirt, but also was able to kind of look through the books that they had available. Like I said, they're specializing in independent titles by creators of color. Uh, so I think the most popular book there was Harriet Tubman Demon Slayer. By the time I got there, there were only issues three and four remaining. So I didn't buy them. Um, I'm going to buy them online. The homie Brandon from Hive Comicade told me, He's placing a reorder. He should have them in soon, and he's going to save a set for me, and so I'll buy it then. But anyway, so they had some really cool things going on. They had the books. Um, they had books for adults, definitely more so tailored to adults. There was one called Project Shonen, I think, and that looked really cool. Um, but anyway, they got they had a bunch of books some for most for adults but then some for kids as well it's always dope seeing kids at comic book events and especially when you see kids actually reading the comics uh but then they also had an artist there i think it's rob potschek is how you say his name he goes by potsy um and he's doing these like little 15 minute sketches he sketched a spider-man for my daughter because he noticed that she had a spider-man shirt on um, but overall it was really cool now of course the highlight of this event was the cosplay contest and 
let me tell you, uh, I didn't get to see a ton of cosplayers because I didn't stay the whole time. But the one guy I did see, I was like, oh, this guy definitely is the winner. And to my surprise, he was not. Um, in a very narrow victory, this guy won. Um, I think I've got video of him, hopefully. Because if not, I just sound crazy saying this guy. But anyway, it was really dope just seeing people dressed in their cosplay, seeing people, you know, not being afraid to come outside. Um, it's got me excited for my first real con. Now, Hive Comicade, like I said, they're a new online retailer. You can find out more information from them um, or about them at HiveComicade.com. They're going to be throwing all sorts of events. Their next event is going to be focused more on comic book content creators. So if you are in the Raleigh-Durham area and you're interested in being a comic book writer, a comic book artist, or even a publisher, you should definitely stay tuned, join their email list so that you know whenever these events happen. Um, I've been really excited to like meet the crew and kind of help out with some stuff behind the scenes. So shout out to Brandon and shout out to Mike from Hive Comicade. And thank you for throwing a really cool event overall. I think it was super dope. I'm really excited to see these things grow. I can't wait to see them open their own retail space um, and really see just how they come in and disrupt the market. They're really serving an audience that for all intents and purposes hasn't really truly been catered to like there's not a lot of places you can go to get some of the books that i saw on those shelves so really really excited about that um shout out to all the cosplayers and the artists who showed up uh and again i'm really excited about this t-shirt you'll probably see it in other in future videos um but that was it i just had a quick recap um show you a little bit of b-roll from my time at the hive mini comic-con uh so Hope you saw something you liked in this video, and if not, hey, that's cool. Because you can always buy what you like. Just uh, make sure you read what you buy. And be nice to others, because kindness makes the world go round. Peace.